I know it's been a while. I have reopened my store and I have orders that I've been working on, so I've been kind of busy. But I didn't want to stop showing you guys what's going on in my planner process, which I plan to add one more book to my planners because I need one more. <laughs> okay, so this is my calendar. I've showed you guys this in the last video I had. I really enjoy using it because it's really been keeping me up to date. I started using it in February, as you can see. I then kept up with it all this month and I've already started focusing for next month in it. So it's been very helpful for me to keep up with things and really kind of keep those hard dates that are absolutely happening helpful in every planner. So um, this is my bullet journal. You guys know that I have been using this. I've been using it since February. I did not really use it in March though. I don't know. I was still kind of trying to figure myself out in March. I showed you guys February already, but I was really kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I mean, I was kind of using it here and there pretty much for the daily pages, but not by much. As you can see, I only have like two days of pages in here, but the last two days I have been using it a little bit more frequently. And so... Move this. Um, so this is April. April, I decided to go with kind of a whimsical spring feeling. And I think that the uh, dots of blue kind of remind me that we're still transitioning from winter. So it was kind of a, a fun little collage because, you know, a lot of rain happens in April too. So um, I just have a April highlights page, which that's changed even from February because let's see for February I did you know a cover page and then I put I just put that there recently um, and then I put I wasn't sure what I wanted to keep in this calendar but um, I also wanted to do some sort of collage so that's what's going to be in the April highlights I'm going to write things I'm going to put pictures there that way I don't have this extra page that I felt I needed to put something on that's why I put the calendar here so I did keep the weeklies there um so as you can see this is the first week of April um you know kind of a, a focus weekly and then you know just kind of a straight up to-do list and then a water intake for some reason I decided to put that there too and it may change, which is why I've just left these blank and with a temporary sticky note on there so that I can, you know, kind of figure out what I want to do as the weeks go on. And this is week four and five. And this is today. This is, you know, just uh, going to be my regular dailies because I realized as I was going through, um, for instance, Courtney, I didn't want dailies in there anymore. Because the dailies were just kind of wild and all over the place. I couldn't decide if I wanted to use them or not. And they were take, making it bulky. And that was just causing me a lot of issue. So this is next. Um, this book I've been using recently for a kind of master to-do list. It was, you know, a bullet journal. It was just a regular journal. At one point, it was a place for me to write recipes. Um, you know, notes for assemblies and thing like that, things like that. So I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with this journal. So finally, I made it my ultimate inbox and my master to-do list, so to speak. At least that's what I call it. And so this keeps up with all of the inboxes in all of my planners. So if there's an inbox in the planner, I can keep the location of where this to-do is coming from so that I know, okay, I can basically, I have all of my to-dos in one place instead of having various inboxes, um, you know, in various places where I can't, you know, keep up with everything all the time at the same time. So that's why it's called my master to-do list. So I'm going to go ahead and get into Courtney and show you guys how this works. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I, I think it would be helpful if I just gave you guys kind of a... You guys have seen Courtney. You guys know Courtney well. She's... Let's see. Can I zoom out? I can't zoom out very much right now. 
But you guys know Courtney. She is still shiny and beautiful. And I find I'm not using her as much lately because I haven't had any real appointments to speak of. I did change one thing in Courtney. Um, okay, so I'll let you guys know what that is in a minute. But So here's my inbox for Courtney. You guys have seen this a bazillion times. But in this case, as you can see, like for instance, this particular thing here is also in my master to-do list. Like for instance, my taxes is one of the things in my master to-do list. And it rests over here. See, it says um, 26 is the number in this particular list. But it also has where it is in Courtney and what, you know, what it's supposed to do. It's been delegated to someone else and it's number 88. So if I go to number 88, I can find it here. So I know this is a lot of rewriting and stuff like that, but personally, I think that it's helpful for me personally. I know a lot of people don't need kind of a recap here and there and everywhere, but I do. I need a constant reminder, and I did not keep up with this. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in <clears throat> sometime later on. But as you can see, the kids' stuff is still where it needs to be. Everybody's been healthy lately, so no need to worry about that. Everybody's been happy lately. So, yeah. Okay, so the thing that I did change, okay, those are all my kids' stuff, was where I, I put my routines in here. I think I showed you this last time, but just in case I didn't. Um, so, yeah, I put my routines in here. Yeah, I did show you guys this. And I put my to-do list or my kind of brain catch-all um, sticky notes section afterwards and my brain sifter section after that because I didn't go to my brain sifter section a lot because I don't know it was in the front and then there was this whole issue with having to you know try to write like this and you know being way down here because this is like super bulky and I don't mind the bulk I love the bulk but it was difficult for me to want to go to that section to write. So this is here just because, you know, it's quick access. I can just pull the sticky note off and write it there. But I do like being able to have plenty of comfort when I'm writing, you know, detailed notes in my brain sister section because, you know, that... That's important for me to be able to just get all my thoughts out on paper and you know be able to reference it later so and I think that that would be a lot more helpful and you know I'm just kind of doing a quick flip through I guess of this I haven't decided I do want to put pictures here still a collage because I like this vellum and it deserves to be treated as such but I have not and excuse my voice you guys I have not have coffee this morning and I need some probably Okay, and so March, you guys know what was going on with March. March was just, uh, it was a, March was a difficult month for me, I'm going to be honest. It was difficult because I had a lot of stuff going on <laughs> that I just did not write. I'll probably go back and write it later just because, for the, you know, sake of consistency. But here's April. I haven't decorated it yet for Courtney. And that's going to be something that I do today. The only thing I did was the monthly page and a little bit on the weekly, which I should have been writing in here, but I know what I, I guess I just wasn't filling March. Kind of like last year, I wasn't filling February. I don't know. So yeah, I just need to go through and, you know, put the stuff that's in here in here. So that is Courtney. And I have been keeping up with my trackers as well. So that's been kind of a, a fun little joy there. Now, uh, actually, let me show you this one first. Okay, so you guys have seen this one. This one is Nala. Or I decided to call her Agatha. Look at me mixing up names. Sorry, Aggie. Okay, so this is Aggie. I love her because she is not only my dream journal. I haven't been keeping up with my dreams, however, because I have been really having any dreams lately but I'm gonna go ahead and start fresh for April and 
that is the goal here is to go ahead and start fresh for April with everything. Um, since March has been really weird, so I'm just going to. Okay, and yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that, and I'll decorate it a little bit later just so that I can, you know, kind of <laughs> focus on that a little more. Okay, now, this is my seven-year journal. I love this thing so much. Um, however, last year I was weird about it, and I was not documenting in certain areas. I do need to go back and write those two days. I do have the information. I just need to go back and do it. So... Uh, the same thing for February. I was kind of weird about what I was doing. so, But I have the information and I can go back and write it. That's the only issue. And what's crazy is I have my... Hold on. Oh. Okay, so last year I was doing... Well, I was using a happy planner and I do have, you know, all of my information. I have all of that information, all the notes and all the um, writing that I did for March and even for a lot of February too. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have a lot for February as well. Wait, that's March, but this is February. Because I was keeping diligent, I was keeping up diligently in the happy planner, and then I just got bored with it because it was like, ugh. there's very little space, and I ended up, you know, finding myself just writing these long paragraphs everywhere. <laughs> and it was just, it wasn't for me. I just, I couldn't do it. So I just, um, I do have this information from last year, and I'm going to be putting it in here. So I'm just going to flip to current. So I stopped here. And I try to do at least two days so that I can kind of catch up from the backlog. But I really love the idea of this because we're so-and-so days into the pandemic is just going to be insane. Because I, we all thought it was going to be over last year pretty soon. It was like day 16, year at the most. Here we are a year and some days into the pandemic. 381 days into the pandemic. And it's like, wow, we're still here. So this was yesterday. I didn't get to write yesterday, but after that, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to April, which I did great in April last year. So that's why I have my purple pin in here because I'm going to do it, like I said before, in a rainbow. So it's going to be pink, purple, blue, green, yellow. Yeah. So you guys get it. Pretty much what I do with my weeklies anyway. So I'm just going to put my marker here. There we go. I love it. So that is what she's for. She's literally for nothing else throughout the entire planner. So, so it's pretty consistent with last year for the rest of the months, thankfully. And so I've shown you guys these three plus Courtney. So next I'm going to show you guys. Oh, I also showed you my master to-do list. So next is this beauty here. This is Rosie. Rosie is my, let's see. This is my all about me planner. I know I had had one of those before, but this one is a little bit more consistent with that fact. <laughs> so let me show you how. Um, I loved, okay, so when I got my um, Mary Kay stuff, it came with this pretty, a bag that had stuff in it. So I just laminated that. Love it. <laughs> Made the planner really come to life. And then, you know, just various vellum. You know, me, I like to just add various things. And uh, okay, so the first thing in here is my food journal. And I know you guys have seen this before because I've moved this page to various parts of various planners trying to figure out where I wanted to keep it and this is I believe going to be its final resting place 
Um, the last three days I've been on what's called a du the Duquesne diet, and I've noticed that that's the only diet that has ever really had an effect on me, so I started it again. Today is day three? I thought it was day four. Oh, this is day four. I didn't write down what I ate yesterday, which was really not that much. Um, so that's another something, but you know, that's pretty much it. I needed another, um, divider here, but I'll get to that later. And so I wrote down my measurements at the beginning of this journey, 283 pounds, 40 pounds down because I gained about 10, 15 pounds because I was down to like 229 and then I went back up because I got off my diet and you guys know how that is. And here's my chart. I had reached a plateau twice where I just could not shake getting out of that specific 10 pound range. At first it was in the um, 60s and 50s. I kept kind of going up and down there. And actually that plateau should be like right up here. But um, then I got to like the 230s and the 230s and 240s. I just could not get out of that area for a few months it seemed and it really discouraged me so I created a new one of these because that one went all the way to February and here we go with March and the rest of the year so that is kind of what I'm doing for this I started at 247 I've already lost a few pounds which is really cool and um you know I'm just gonna go from there so um did I I didn't I need to make a new one of these too. Um, basically, it's, you know, tracking exercise. Um, oh, I already did make one of these. What I'm talking about is on this side. Okay, so these last three days I have exercised. Why did I put it on April? Oh, these last three days. So I already know I'm going to exercise these three days. I'm just, I apparently felt like there was a need to assure that I was going to do it by putting it there already. So same thing for these. Um, the things that were exercised are there, and that's going to continue. I have more pages like this to add later. And then I have my routines for beauty. So we've got body, which is food and exercise, and then we've got beauty, the beauty section. So here, you guys have seen this. This is my beauty routine, my morning routine for beauty, and my evening routine for beauty. Well, pretty much just morning and evening for morning and evening routines. So as you can see, I've been really weird about keeping up with this tracker, um, but I did keep up the last three days. Well, it's two days before yesterday. Um, yesterday I was, uh, there was a lot going on. So I just need to update it this morning, which is usually what I end up doing in the, anyway. So this next part is my Weekly and monthly, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of faded, but weekly and monthly beauty routine. So basically this is what I do bi-weekly beauty-wise, monthly bi-weekly, or monthly beauty-wise. Quarterly is over here. So this spring I plan on doing a hot oil treatment to my hair, getting an intensive massage, and doing a upside-down suspension where, you know, you kind of literally sit upside down for about a minute and a half. It's supposed to help with brain activity and hair growth and all that weird stuff. I, I say, why not try it? Who knows, it might work. <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep track of the month bi-weekly and um, the monthly stuff here. And the weekly stuff, I'm gonna be keeping on my weeklies. And these are things that I'm gonna try to stop doing, but I haven't made that list out yet. So these I got from, um, well, this whole pack of weeklies and monthlies I got from Recollections at Michael's and it's you know it's been it's been real um these first two months obviously haven't been using I tried to use March didn't know what to really do yet so I just uh as you can see it just kind of faded into not much of anything but here in April We've got something a little prettier, a little happier. I'm keeping with that same theme. I didn't put the dots everywhere, which I do want all over because again, it reminds me that we were just fresh out of winter. And that to me, 
It's an excellent reminder because we know spring does not last very long in Texas. So remembering spring is one of the things. Well, remembering winter is one of the things I wanted to do. So um, let's see. So that's pretty much it. And this is where I'm just going to keep track of pretty much a highlight of all of this stuff and any milestones that I create through my exercise. Um, because after these monthlies, I do have a daily kind of page here where I am trying to be consistent with keeping up with all the different beauty things I do on a daily basis, although I'm not really seeing a need for this here either. So I'm going to see if I'm going to keep that. I don't know if I'm going to, and if I do, I probably am going to move it to before the weeklies and monthlies so that at least I'll want to, and it's not way back here. Um, but this is this week, and I wanted to show you guys just how I'm going to be keeping up with these weeklies. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. They have the four boxes um, on each page, and seven of those boxes are for days, and then there's a kind of a note box for there. So I'm pretty much taking to the setup of the pages here, but um, of course the note section is free game for me to be creative and do whatever. So um, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. It captures everything in one place on a daily scale, which is why I'm not sure if I even really need this because I'm really saying I don't need it. So I'm probably going to just take that out because I mean, I like it, but it's like <laughs> it's repetitive and unnecessarily repetitive. So um, I really like this thing. It came with the monthlies that I have. So or it came with the weekly, monthly stuff. In fact, I think I want to just kind of take it and put it with everything up here. Because it's so pretty to be just kind of logged back here. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to probably put this up there too. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. Because I want this to be a private planner. A private area. And, yeah, so... Um, I'll probably put it here, even though I probably would want this in my food journal. <laughs> yeah, I want this on my food journal, and this can go here, because it makes it really kind of spring. Okay, so that works. Okay, I like that better. I like that a lot better. Okay, see, and that makes that all pretty. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on my monthly. Oh, it's not March no more. It is definitely. Okay. So that is Pearl. Oh, I almost called her Pearl again. I used to name her Pearl, but now she's Rosie. I thought Pearl was a little too something. I don't like it. So that is Rosie. And as for these, I'm just going to put somewhere else. Oh, I forgot my today book. Today page. I need to get to my today. There. Oh, and I didn't quite explain. Uh, this is just my weekly beauty stuff. I have it for exactly what it's on my tracker. Um, and it is also consistent with this first routine thing. Um, see, this is weekly stuff right here. Facial mask, foot spa, facial mask, foot spa. Same stuff. Just making sure that I do it so I don't have to refer back to that routine place every single time. Okay, so down to the nitty gritty. Okay, this is a new planner. Um, this is Trixie. And... She kind of works hand in hand with Courtney and you know, they're like, <laughs> um, since they're the same color and the same kind of planner, I kind of like to think of them as fraternal twins, <laughs> but they're not, they have two totally different purses, um, um, purposes and personalities. As you can see, I'm not done decorating either. Um, but this is my business planner. 
And I've added some stuff in from previous planners just to kind of make her feel a little bit more home at home for me. Um, but let's see. So I haven't added. I haven't added everything that I want in here. I'm not really sure 100%. Like this is the calendar tracker. Of course, I had to have a tracker. And I'm just going to be renaming this and putting the numbers back where they belong for April because I did not use this except one time. So yeah, and my deadline is going to be four right here. So I think that this is okay to have here, but I'll probably end up moving it. We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna just use this. And then, um, you know, I was gonna do monthlies and then, you know, kind of do a, a bullet journal type thing where I just do dailies um, you know, for various, uh, things that are going on work-wise or, you know, in the business-wise. And so then I have this section, which really is a series of tabs. <laughs> okay, so we have inbox, products, materials, next actions are in the inbox, obviously, and then mapping and delegating is in the same, um, product list. Um, so that's pretty much what this whole section is about. And as you can see, I just drew <laughs> out my own dividers for each little section because I just, I didn't feel like looking for some or making some that were more elaborate. But, you know, as far as the products go, they're kind of designated by a specific page. Um, and then, you know, of course, I have my section where I have projects where I'm going to be like materials as vendor information, which, you know, that's <laughs> um, information that I haven't really gotten started on yet. But projects is just for where I can, you know, kind of brainstorm on new ideas for things to put in my store. Because let's say sit, my store is kind of empty right now. Um, and again, ideas on what you guys want, things you've seen that I've made or, you know, you guys wanted, you can always tell me in the comments below so that I can add those things to my Etsy store and sell them to you. Um, so basically all my order focuses are here. These are two different orders that I've already gotten and I can't really show you very much on it because it has customer information on it and there's a front and back to those. So I don't want you guys to see that, but maybe, um, here's a blank one. Um, and it's actually double-sided, but I don't know why these back here for some reason are not double-sided. So I think, I guess I figured, oh no, they are double-sided. I just put a page in between them because each customer needs, you know, a notes page too. But this is what they look like. And, you know, this is how I, you know, I kind of put their name here or, in, you know, their personal information here and then what they want, how I'm going to work out, you know, schedule their different things like that. So I don't know what that is. Oh, this is something that I wanted. I put the sticky note in here because I was brainstorming and I just took my note on my trusty sticky note out and I was like, I need to create um, a four divider system to keep track of products and, you know, what process they're in um, so that I can, you know, kind of keep up with their deadlines or the deadlines I set for them anyway. Okay, and so back here, it's just gonna kind of a, a to-do list, um, but it's really gonna be a to-buy list because I never use to-do lists like this for anything other than to buy. And then this, this pretty, um, these were bags, um, and I, you know, put them in here because they were so pretty. <laughs> oh, I love flowers. Okay, so um, let's see. And then, of course, social media tracker. Have not been keeping up with that, like, at all. Plan two, you guys have seen this in my other planner. It was in um, Courtney, but there was no reason for me to keep track of it in there. It's more business-related and, you know, kind of hmm, spiritual-related, I guess. So that's pretty much that. And then I have this calendar, this long, extensive calendar for... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Probably next year for like long-term things. I don't know. I don't know. I have, I just put it in here to maybe spark an idea at some point. Aren't they cute? Oh, these came from Daiso. And I had to pull them apart because they didn't come apart. They were just all together. And I was like, okay, I'm going to put some up here and some up here. Yeah. So, 
Other than that, everything is pretty much blank because I'm still working through the details of this planner. And so, yeah, the end is vellum. So that's my business planner. She is very much so um, still a work in progress. So I think, okay, and you guys know, <laughs> you guys know Gem, my wallet. She is actually way more stuff than usual. Um, and the reason being because, what did I add to her? I don't know. Oh, I added an inbox to her. Because <laughs> I realized I hated having inbox stuff in Courtney that was related to money things when I handle anything money in this planner. Plus, I was deciding, should I put my business finances in here as well? I couldn't decide what to do. And so you guys see I've been pretty consistent about not keeping up <laughs> in March with my finances. So... Ooh, what a crazy thing. But I printed these all out because this is how I keep track of all of the accounts that I have. So, yeah. So that is Jem. That is... Her name is Aggie. I remembered. <laughs> and master to-do list, my monthly to-do, my bullet journal. I'm calling her Bougie. And we've got Rosie, we've got Trixie, and we've got Courtney. Now that doesn't even include all of my journals. My journals are a totally different story because you guys have seen my diary. It's practically falling apart. Um, and, you know, just my, of course, my, <laughs> my, let's call it Bible study journal. And then, of course, you know, we have my, um, other journals too, like I've got journals galore, I've got, <laughs> oh my goodness, so many journals, okay, oops, that is falling, okay, so I've got like all of these journals, and I need my mega journal, because I need to make a new one, because I used the one I had last year, <sighs> you guys, it's so sad, and she got wet, I'm so sad. I couldn't even use her no more. I was like, <laughs> goodbye, my sweetheart. I can't even, I can't even deal with it. Like, that's the bottom. And, I mean, it was going so good. I was loving it. And, I mean, I was just hurt. And I just couldn't even use it. So, that's that. Um, Yeah, I was very hurt. And I stopped using her. So, I need to make a new one. I am in the process of making a mega plan or a mega journal for somebody else. So after I finish making hers, I do plan to go ahead and make one for myself. But my diary, this is a different journal for something else. This is a different journal for something else. This journal is for interesting things. And, you know, I just have various journals. So I'm going to show you guys that in the next video or something. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope to see you back here soon. Bye.